We will begin with skeletal muscle. All skeletal muscle has the same basic structure, starting with the muscle cells, also referred to as muscle fibers. These are grouped into fascicles, and the fascicles, in turn, are grouped together to form the muscle mass. This is a transverse section of a mammal tongue to demonstrate skeletal muscle. First, we will examine the longitudinal section of muscle fibers. Skeletal muscle is multinucleated. That is, there are more than one nucleus per muscle cell. These nuclei are elongated and arranged peripherally along the muscle fiber. Each muscle fiber is enclosed in an endomycium, which is a connective tissue sheath. Skeletal muscle is striated, and this is clearly seen in this muscle section, where light or eye bands and dark or A bands are evident. The eye bands are bisected by the Z line or Z disc. The contractile element of a muscle fiber is the sarcomere. And a sarcomere extends from one Z line to the next. The muscle fibers are composed of two types of myofilaments. Thin actin myofilaments in the eye bands and thick myosin myofilaments in the A bands. Now let us look at a diagram to explain the mechanism of muscle contraction. In the relaxed state, the sarcomere extends from one Z line to the next Z line, incorporating an I band with thin myofilaments on either side of the A band with thick myofilaments. When the muscle fiber contracts, the Z lines all pull towards one another, pulling the thin myofilaments over the thick myofilaments. The light band I disappears and the sarcomere is shortened. It is important to note that the actual myofilaments do not shorten during muscle contraction, they merely glide over one another. Now let's look at the cross section of skeletal muscle. This is a cross section of muscle fibers grouped into fascicles. The nuclei stained dark blue with hematoxylin are peripherally located within the muscle cell. And these fascicles are in turn surrounded by connective tissue called the perimyceum. Most muscles are made up of several fasciculi and the whole muscle mass is invested in the epimyceum, a connective tissue sheath 